Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about my new YouTube series called Less Automation Utilities. So this video will give you an overview of what are automation utilities, how this will be helpful in your project and what are its features and how to use it. Also, I would recommend to watch this series if you have experience and working with any of the Java automation projects, Selenium, Protractor, or Oracle ATS, so whatever. If you know Java, if you are well versed with using Java methods and all, so this is a must have utility for your automation projects. Let's get started. The first we'll discuss about what is this Automation Utilities Pro 1.0 jar. So this is a Java library, which will be very helpful in Java based test automation projects. So for example, Selenium, Protractor, or etc. So it contains various reachable methods that can be used in your automation projects. So I have listed it out few features. So the first would be generating the date in various far parts. So you can generate current date in DD, MM, YY, or MMDDYY or you can generate future dates maybe next week's date next year's date next month's date or also you can get previous month date previous week date previous year's dates so it's a single method which can gives multiple formats of your uh, date formats with depends upon your inputs so it has another capability to read the OTP from your email, not from mobile, but from email, it can retrieve the OTPs. It has a capability to read all the emails. It can send the email. It can zip and send your execution results file. It has a capability to encrypt, decrypt your usernames and passwords. Also, it can record your test executions and make it as a video file. So these are the few important features i have listed it out and let's see the next how we can use this utility so these are the simple steps you need to follow to use this so one is you need to download the jar file and add it to your class path and add the dependencies in your pom.xml so that's it you are ready to use it so just let us configure these now for our project so I have provided clear steps to configure this or to use this jar file. So this is the blog managed by myself. So here using automation utilities, the step one, download the jar file, click over here. Then the job or the jar file is downloaded. You can keep this jar file and this link is always I will update with the latest methods and all so you, whenever you wanted to use it you can download it from here or also periodically you can visit this page to get the latest one so once you download it the next step is add to your class path so let me see the downloaded file show in folder so this is the downloaded file okay so copy this cut this and you can keep this in, in your project folder so this is my project created. It's a Marvin project. Okay, you see the palm.xml is there. So go to your project, open. And for the project, usually we created a resources folder to manage your drivers, right? So you can keep over here or you can keep another directory as a library. It's up to you where you want it to keep. I have posted over here. I pasted the jar file over here. This is my utilities jar file. Now add this to your class path. To add it, right click properties, go Java build path. Okay, so it's already there. So let me re add it. This is the latest one I just downloaded. Okay, so apply and close. So that's it. You are now ready to use this utility. So, but to avoid any compilation issues or to download the dependencies, you 
open your pom.xml and copy the dependencies i'll i pasted it over here copy this dependencies and put this within dependency section means up to this right so you can keep over here this area paste it these are the dependencies one two three pound dot xml java x email poi comments dot i think java dot x email is copied twice you can remove the one i might be added earlier okay save it so this will build the project let's wait to disappear Now this is downloading the required jar files building building done okay so now your project is set up so just to have a quick check you can create one quick java class test utilities just like that you give any name okay now just type date utilities control space date utilities you see com dot testing dot framework this is these are the one which are downloaded it which are coming up from your pro dot jar file so it means this is successfully added okay so if you want you can create dt equals to new date time utils okay make sure you select this com dot testing dot framework okay now dt dot you can see the method get date time okay so this is how you can create your project and add this particular automation utilities jar file to your project let's move on to the next so what are the features are currently it having so i have created various classes one is command line utilities okay so this utility will help us to run your command prompt commands like dir dir uh, directories or you can say java hyphen version means what are the commands which you generally run on command prompt that can be automated using command line utilities even you can invoke the batch files using this utility by your automation project or by your java code and csv utilities are one of the utility which can help us to read and store the csv data in a array list and date time utilities this will help us to get the current future and past dates in any of the date formats this is a multi utility where you can get in dd mmyy or mmdd yy dd means it, it supports various formats and email utilities this is one of the best utility where you can read your emails read the otp and send emails with attachment email the execution report using smtp and gmail read emails in your inbox draft let it deleted unrated and there are a couple of other utilities also there we have an encryption utilities class this will help us to encrypt decrypt the strings maybe you can use it for your encrypting your passwords or usernames which are you feel that secure data you can use it and excel utilities to read the excel data using uh, apache poi it has various methods to read by column read by rows so read by column name read by column index so various utilities are part of this utility and file utilities so this is having uh, reusable methods like find files with extensions so these are all written by considering the real time need so i have come across many of these uh, methods requirement so whenever i go uh, whenever i assign to any new project every time i need to define it from scratch or maybe i need to copy paste or you know there are multiple rework i have done so i thought of you know making it as a reusable uh, reusable library where multiple people can share this code and can utilize this uh, reusable methods so one of such methods are find files with extension and sort files by last modified and get recently created folder 
change extension of any file and create some folders and verify whether folders exist or directories exist on particular path and copy file from one place to another and write data to any file. So these are the file utilities uh, class methods. And I have zip utilities. So where you can zip your result file and can make it as a zip file so that you can send it over the email using email utilities. And I have defined screen record utilities where you can record your execution and make it as a video file. And XML utilities, this will be helpful if you wanted to put some assertions or read some data from XMLs by nodes or by tag names or by attributes. So this utility will help us. And FTP utilities are to connect to the FTP server and download some file and upload some files dynamically. So these are the few utilities I have uh, defined and I'll keep continue adding more and enhancing it is uh, further to make it industry standard or to make it uh, global usage. So that's all about using this utility and features of this automation utilities pro.jar. So I hope you enjoyed this feature. Thank you for watching this video and please continue next sessions how to use on each and every class and every utility. Thank you very much.